How's it going everybody? This is Blister bringing you another classic WoW video. Today we're going to be talking about all the new information we got from BlizzCon and from the demo that was playable at BlizzCon and at home. So to start off with, I wanted to talk about what we learned from the two different panels that we had for Classic WoW. They started by explaining how they got everything to work. They did initially find a backup and were able to back up the old game with the old art assets and everything old. They were able to actually log in, create characters, and actually get into the game. Then they had to figure out how they were going to convert all of that information to be runnable on a modern system. To make a long story short, and not to bore you with all the details, what they essentially did was they took the modern WoW frame and they took all of the old database data and assets, and when I say assets, I mean stuff like the animations, the art, and the sound, and laid it over the retail system. When they did that, they were actually able to get classic WoW into a playable state. They did take some changing and some modifications with how the system actually read some of the files, but they did get it to work. They did mention that there were other changes that they were going to have to make and that they have been making because of how the system now handles the information being processed. We also learned a little bit about add-ons. Ian Hazakosis told us that they didn't want to have any add-ons that would let you sit there and push one button and do your entire rotation without even having to look at your screen. So those types of add-ons, they're trying to make sure that the APIs will not work for those. They also wanted to make sure that there weren't any add-ons that could put things back into the game that they took out when they went back from retail to classic. Something else that's been quite a topic of discussion for a lot of people is the loot trading. They actually are going to keep loot trading in the game where you can obtain an item of loot and within two hours you'll be able to trade that item to, certain, to players in your party. Now they said they wanted to do this to prevent ninja looting from happening and to prevent GM tickets from having to be open so that way a GM would have to be able to reassign an item from one player to another. We also learned a lot about how the system is going to be used. We know that we're going to have the old energy regen format where you're getting big chunks of energy rather than the constant flow of energy. We learned that we're getting 16 debuff slots. They're going to change mailboxes back to having one hour time arrivals. They're going to change the auction houses to not be neutral auction houses in the capital cities. Of course we're not getting flying. There's going to be no achievements. There's going to be no dungeon finder, no LFR, and there's going to be no transferring of items from the classic servers to the live servers. We also learned how they plan on using sharding for Classic WoW. Now a lot of people, when they heard this at first, they started to blow a fuse. And I'll be honest with you, that's where I was when I first heard it too. But they have said that they only want to use sharding in the early stages when zones are going to be completely overrun with new players. And once that population starts to settle out and come to an even rate, that they are going to actually remove the sharding completely from the game. Now if they actually live up to that, I'd be completely fine with them doing that, but we're still looking for a dance studio in retail, so who knows if that's actually going to happen. We also learned that they do indeed plan on having progressive content. They are going to release this in four stages. The first stage is going to have Molten Core, Anixia, Dire Maul, and World Bosses. Stage 2 is going to have Zolgarub, Blackwing Lair, and PvP. Stage 3 is going to be AQ, the Green Dragons, and yes, AQ does actually include the Gates of AQ. Stage 4 is going to have Naxxramas and the Scourge Invasion. Now I've seen some people complaining about how these stages are actually going to be used because releasing all of those things all at once like especially for stage 1 having Molten Core, Onyxia, Dire Maul, and the world bosses all released at once could cause potential issues. These stages could be further broken down and these are just the patch cycles that they're going to be using. We don't know. And last but not least the best news we heard from the panels is that we're going to be getting this release in the summer of 2019. 
Now let's move on to what we learned from the demo. There was a lot, and I mean a lot of small things that were not correct, but we have to consider if this is just because it's in a demo status and how the game is actually being presented to us in a working state. They took Retail WoW and just overwrote everything with the classic information. So there's bound to be some things in the game that are meant to be for retail, but somehow made it down to classic. Now, a lot of these things I think are small things, but I am gonna go over a lot of the actual things that could potentially be issues. To start off with, the health, mana, and energy regeneration was way too fast. Dodging, parrying, and blocking also seemed to not happen quite as often as it should have been happening. We were also missing the key ring entirely. The raid frames were actually the retail raid frames. The summoning stones at dungeons, well guess what, they worked. Some of the animations were different, not all of them, but some of them were. The one that a lot of people are focusing on is the animation for the wands. Buffs and debuffs on enemy players and actually friendly players had timers and you could see how long they had until they would expire. That wasn't part of classic. And I think all of those things could be just chalked up to the fact of how the game is being presented to us, having it using the retail system just with all of the classic information shoved into it. And hopefully because this is just the demo, a lot of these issues can be solved. A lot of them aren't a big deal, but some of them definitely are a big deal and would completely break the immersion that we're looking for with Classic WoW. Now some other things that were actually an issue that I do not believe were part of it's just the demo that's being presented to us this way because of how they were able to get it work were auto loot obviously is a thing and if you've seen the leaks we can confirm that now and it actually is in the game personally i don't think it's a big deal but it is in the game we did have some issues where gear actually did not give the correct stats if you look at gear that had of the tiger in classic it gave you strength and agility but in the demo it gave you strength and crit now if you have played classic before you'll know that crit was not on low level gear it was usually reserved for much higher end gear and in classic it wasn't you get one to your crit rating it was you get one percent crit or two percent crit and like ian mentioned there was sharding there was instances where people could not see their friends who they were trying to play with there were people who were trying to kill mobs and were teleported to another part of the realm so hopefully this again is just something that they're using temporarily to try and make sure everybody can have an enjoyable experience just to get that first taste of hey they're actually working on this and they're actually trying to deliver what we want but I mean, other than that, the game ran really well. I know there were some people saying that they had some issues with the graphics not being what it was actually supposed to be. And that I get, it's true. It did look a lot nicer, especially when you turned up the graphics. It looked like you were actually running around in Battle for Azeroth just with an old character model. But because of how Blizzard was going through this to try and get it working for us, if you go back and you actually watch the what's next creating classic wow you'll actually be able to see how they've actually pulled it down so much from what it actually would have been if they had just imported it and let it go they showed screenshots of how they've had to manipulate how the lighting system in battle for azeroth's engine is working compared to how it used to work back in the day they are trying to give us what we want it's not going to be exactly what we want because at the end of the day, Blizzard still has to make a product that they think is ready and is playable and is up to their standards of perfection. Since the release of Classic WoW and the advancements of technology, that has gone up a lot so we can't expect it to be exactly the same frame by frame, code snippet to code snippet. It's all going to be very close but we can't expect it to be 
exactly, exactly, exactly the same. That would be unrealistic of us. Anyways, this demo has given me a lot of hope and I do think that a lot of the issues that we've seen in here will be fixed by the time we get to a full release. I'm hoping that they're gonna give us a beta where people like myself can go back in and we can look at all these issues again and see if we can help Blizzard get this as close to as possible what the actual initial launch of WoW looked like. As always guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a comment down below. I wanna know if you guys played the demo, if you guys watched the panels, let me know what you guys think about all these issues. Take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, it's Ratted here. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. We put out multiple new videos each week and we appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching everyone and cheers.